Hello everybody, welcome back to Tom Reads Things. My name is Tom, I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Um, today, I thought I would talk to you about my August book haul. So I bought one, two, three, four books in August. Actually, one of them I think I bought earlier than August, but I'm gonna include it in this video because why not? Um, so without further ado, should we jump into the books? Shall we? Shall we? So the first book that I bought was, ba-doing, it is The Shadow of Death, The Sydney Chamber Mysteries. So um, this is a collection of short uh, kind of um, crime uh, stories or crime solve type story things um, based in Grantchester. Uh, in Cambridge, where I am from. So this has a special kind of uh, place in my heart for me, if you will, because they did a televised adaptation of these uh, short stories not so long ago. And actually, I think they've done two series of it, which is brilliant. Um, and I love it because it's set in Cambridge. I see all of the places um, on screen that I see every day. They talk about the places that I see every day. And yeah, so it kind of is, it's a bit, um, it has a special interest for me. Um, I don't know if anyone's read these. I didn't realize that it was based, that the TV show was based on a collection of short stories when I started watching the TV show. Um, as soon as I did, I stopped kind of watching it because I like to read the books before I, um, before I watch the TV show. Oh, by the way, talking of that, has anyone been watching Sanderton on ITV in the UK? Um, it's the adaptation of Jane Austen's Sanderton. Um, I am so excited to watch that. However, I, ha I have to read it first. That's like a, a, a thing, I have to read the book first. So I'm going to pick up Sanderton um, by Jane Austen very soon. I think it comes in, a, I think the Penguin Classics version comes in a, um, a collection with Lady Susan, some of her Junodia as well. Um, so yes, is, is, is anyone watching that? Is it good? I can't wait to watch it. I'm gonna read the book and then I'm gonna watch it maybe on catch up when it's a bit more awe to me. Very, very, very exciting. That won't be the last time we talk about Jane Austen in this video. Um, so yeah, The Shadow of Death, uh, Sydney Chamber Mysteries. Has anyone read these? I love kind of short and sharp uh, crime solvery type uh, short story collection so if anyone else has any um has any recommendations along those lines for me do let me know so the next book that i bought in august was uh bellman and black by diane setterfield so the reason i bought this is because katie at books and things is doing a read-along of bellman and black in september which I'm so excited about. Now, I love Diane Setterfield, even though I've only read one of her books so far. I, we I, I, read, I read Once Upon a River um, earlier in the year and found it absolutely captivating and amazing. And I've heard fantastic things about um, The Thirteenth Tale. So I really, really, really want to read that as well. So many books, so little time. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to get to this. I don't know much about this book at all, and I kind of want it to stay that way until I read it um, as part of the read-along. Uh, I think I get more out of books if I go into them kind of blind. Um, so yes, I'm very, very, very excited for this. I tried to get the hard copy of it, a hardcover copy of it, because I've got Once Upon a River in hardcover as well, and I kind of want them to sit next to each other. Um, but I couldn't really find it anywhere, which was incredibly distressing. Um, but look at this gorgeous cover of this paperback. Isn't it absolutely fantastic? Um, is anyone else joining in in the Bellman and Black read-along in uh, September? Do let me know if you are. The next book that I picked up in August was The Murder of Harriet Monckton by Elizabeth Haynes. So this sounds right up my street, let me tell you. This is a Victorian murder mystery um, set in, I believe, the 1840s. I'm correct, 1843. Um, so this tells the story of um, Harriet Monckton, who is uh, murdered. Um, she's a bit of a hussy by all accounts. She's romantically involved with three or four people, I believe. Each of them have a potential motive for her murder. And I think the book is told from each of those people's points of view. So this sounds bloody brilliant. It's right up my street, bit of a chunkster again. How many pages is this actually? It's like 480 something or 490 something. Um, but it sounds like the kind of thing you would absolutely tear through. Victorian, murder mystery, bit of a hussy. What's not to love? Um, so yeah, The Death of Harriet Monkton. Look at this cover as well. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Um, 
yeah, really, really nice. I haven't read any of Elizabeth Haynes' work before. Let me know in the comments section if you have read any of her work before, what you thought of it. Um, has she got any other Victorian kind of gothic -y murder mystery books out? Because I want to get them all if she has. And has anyone read this yet? Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below without any spoilers, please. And it looks bloody brilliant. Cannot wait to get to this. I think this might be a November read. Who knows? Now, the last book that I bought in August was uh, Jane Austen at Home by Lucy Worsley, or Dr. Lucy, Wor Lucy, 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 Dr. Lucy Worsley, to give her her correct title. Um, I love Lucy Worsley. I absolutely adored her book on Queen Victoria. I thought it was absolutely fascinating and an incredible she has an incredible way of writing um, biographies that make it sound like, uh, almost like a novel, if you like. Um, so this uh, talks about, I believe, the uh, uh, the literary figure, Jane Austen, and her. Um, it tells the story of her life through her different homes or through the different places she stayed. Um, now this has been a televised uh, programme as well. So you can watch on YouTube, um, Jane Austen at Home by Lucy Worsley. Um, and I, I have already watched that, one of the rare times where I watch something before I kind of read it. Um, and I found it absolutely fascinating. I mean, just in general, I love Lucy Worsley's documentaries. You can find a load of them on YouTube. I've just finished um, the three-part documentary, Fit to Rule, um, which basically talks about the um, health and illnesses of the monarchy from kind of the Middle Ages or medieval times right through to, to kind of the current times. And I found that so, so interesting. I've also just recently finished a documentary that she did on Mozart's time in London. Um, what else has she done? She's done loads of wonderful stuff. Oh, she, she did a fantastic documentary about, I think it's called Decade of, of Decadence and Elegance or something, The Age of the Regency, um, which was absolutely fascinating. But anyway, back to this book. Um, so this, as I said, is a kind of biography of Jane Austen um, through uh, looking at different, way, different uh, places that she stayed and the different homes that she had. Um, I was going to read this as part of Jane Austen July, but didn't get round to it um, in the end. And I think I will be reading this uh, sooner rather than later. I don't think I can wait till next Jane Austen July uh, to read this um, because I love Lucy Worsley's writing style. And I'm really into Jane Austen at the moment. Um, so, yeah, there's this one as well. Have you read this? Uh, let me know your thoughts on it in the comments section down below. So that's it for my August wrap up. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, do... That wasn't a wrap up at all, was it? That was a book haul. Ugh. So that's it for my August book haul um, for this month. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you've read any of the books uh, in the comments section down below and what you thought of them. Um, let me know if you're uh, getting involved in the Bellman and Black read along as well. I'd love to be chatting to um, some of you in the comments section down below while we're reading that. I'll be making some videos about that as well, hopefully. Um, so I will see you again soon. Thanks very much. Bye.